Gru and his mischievous minions are lighting up the box office this Independence Day. The highly anticipated animated film, Despicable Me 4, from Universal and Illumination, made a dazzling debut, raking in a cool $27 million on its opening day. In this latest installment, Steve Carell reprises his role as Gru, the reformed supervillain turned secret agent. His nemesis, the suave French baddie, Maxine Lemel, portrayed by the hilarious Will Ferrell. But let's be honest, the real stars of the show are those zany, highlighter yellow minions. Not only have they stolen the spotlight in the Despicable Me films, but they've also headlined their own spin-offs. What to expect? Over the five-day holiday weekend, Despicable Me 4 is projected to earn a whopping $120 million, making it a fireworks-worthy success. This strong showing is a welcome boost for movie theaters, which have weathered a tough summer with underperforming films like The Fall Guy and Furiosa. Other recent hits include Disney and Pixar's Inside Out to Domestic Gross for $196, 6 million, Sony's Bad Boys, Ride or Die $169, 1 million, and Paramount's A Quiet Place Day $168, 6 million. Minions rule the 4th of July. The Despicable Me franchise has become synonymous with Independence Day. In 2022, the spin-off Minions, the rise of Gru's shattered records, earning a staggering $123 million over the holiday weekend. Previous films in the series Despicable Me 3, Despicable Me 2, and the original Despicable Me also dominated the same holiday period. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, and join the Minion Madness at a theater near you. Why can't you buy my badge?